Hi everyone, Sherwood Small Pets here, and I'm here with Little John, who's not at all little anymore. He's just a little past his first birthday, and past his gotcha day with us, so it's, he's our little rock star. We got him when he was not even three weeks old because they wouldn't keep him. Um, but he is now uh, 2.7 pounds. Yeah, he's a big boy. <laughs> but he's our my nervous little baby. But he's fine when he's out if he's covered. So we're here to do our Q&A answers video. As promised, I said I'd have one of the boys out um, since I had Gwen out for the intro. And we actually got a lot of cool questions. Um, I was really surprised. I wasn't expecting... I was like, if I get like five questions, I'll be pretty pumped. Um, but you guys always blow my mind. So I think he's looking for a treat. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to go get him one and then we'll get started. There, now I've been forgiven. Okay, so anyways, let's get to the questions. So the first question is from Zoe Emile. Uh, so would you ever get rats? That is a very good question. Um, I think rats are really, really cute. They're very intelligent pets. And from what I've gathered, they are wonderful, wonderful pets to have. However, um, being someone who's had hamsters for so long, um, I know what it is to get to attach, to get to very attached to a critter with a shorter lifespan. And when rats are like, from what my, f like I've got have lots of friends who have rats and I've just, I've watched too many of them get too many different types of tumors or respiratory infections. And I think it would just break my heart to be completely honest with you. Um, so I doubt I'd ever get rats. If I ever, like if some near me ever needed a home or something like that, that's probably different. But uh, right now I would say probably not just just because of that. However, Dumbo rats are so cute. Oh my God, I can't even handle them. Um, so then next, Emma's Animals asked, will you get another guinea pig soon? <laughs> okay, so I'm up to four. Um, so the answer, I'm not getting any more guinea pigs. Um, eventually my, my pair of girls will hopefully become like a small herd, but that's well down the line once I get a, like a good teaching job. Um, for right now, four is enough. Um, however, I am fo starting fostering for Piggles Rescue um, on Thursday. So I guess technically I'm getting two more guinea pigs, but technically they're not mine. They'll be going to their own homes because I just, I'm not in a place where I would want to take care of more than four of my own right now. But that's a fair question because guinea pigs are very addictive. Queen Smile asks, if you could bring back one of your past pets, who would it be? That is a very dark and deep question. <laughs> um, I've lost, well, in order, I've lost Sheldon, Hiccup, Ashling, um, Toothless, Winnie, Boo, and Mowgli. And asking me to bring one of them back would just be... I mean, I've got pets from even farther back in the past, like my old family dog and all that as well, but I couldn't bring, just pick one. That would be impossible. And, um, I had an amazing, they were with me, with their time with me was the most, was amazing. And I thank each and every one of them for what they brought me with their individual personality. So I feel like bringing any one of them back would be a massive disservice to the other. I hope that answers the question. What are you doing? Okay, well, little John got a little restless, so you guys get to look at their cage. And so we're going to move on to Piggy Palace. What animal was your first pet and what was their name? Uh, technically, my family's first pet was a Siberian Husky named Ringo. Um, he was around, he was my mom's first, like my parents' first child, I always say. Um, but my own first pet was actually a long-haired Syrian hamster who at the time we called a teddy bear hamster um, named Ted. I was five. He was, we had him for about a year and then my dog actually kind of, uh, well, killed him, unfortunately. So that really, really sucked. Um, but that's the way it goes sometimes when you, you know, it was there, it was the 90s. Um, why did you start YouTube? That's actually a really good question. Um, I started YouTube because 
I was watching really awesome videos by folks like um, Jessica, um, uh, Skinny Pigs One, and I was like, you know what? I was like, what the heck? I would love to share videos of what I've learned with my smorgasbord of critters. And if you know some, what if even one person finds it useful, then you know I've done something right. And before you knew it, I actually made a bunch of friends, and it was really great. And I also did it in part because I felt like my friends on Facebook were starting to get sick of seeing pictures of my pets all the time. What's your favorite animal? Um, my favorite animal of all time is called a tapir. Um, they're kind of like a weird looking creature, but I've been fascinated with them since I was uh, in kindergarten. I was a weird animal nerd and always asked for research books for my birthday. And uh, they were just what I fell in love with, them and wombats. What's your favorite piggy product? Okay. Um, I would say my favorite piggy product are just like fleece cozies. Um, I actually had my boys for quite a while before they had any fleece uh, cozies. And oh, Merlin's awake. Yeah, Merlin's up. And now he's not. Um, but yeah, I had my boys for a while before they got um, cozies. And their demeanor, like everything just, they got so much more like cuddly and stuff after we got um, cozies for them. Their first cozies, of course, um, were their tunnel and bungalow from Piggy Pop Shop. And their uh, pigwam from Piggy Pig Pigs. And nothing has been you know it was just it was great i love those products so much what's your favorite song at the moment um well my all-time favorite song is called do you believe in magic by the love and spoonful it's an old song from the 1960s um that's what my a lot of my favorite that's what my favorite music is however my current song like a new song that i have kind of on loop right now is centuries by fallout boy however a more like Immortals is coming right up there in a close second, as is Out of the Woods by Taylor Swift. So those those are the three that are tearing up my uh, iTunes right now. Uh, Penelope Guinea Pig Hamster Lover asks, What things do you know about Degus, and are they litter box trained easy, and are they snuggly pets? What like them? Oh, do they like to be held, I guess is what she meant. Um... Well, I know a fair bit about Dagus, as I've had one now for nearly three years. Um, Dagus are, of course, colony critters and like to be kept in groups, um, even even pairs. I mean, they they do far better in groups. Um, I don't really know how. Like, I'm not going to go off on a whole thing about Dagus. Um, they're not litter box trainable. Um, they do pee to mark things. You can you can always try. I mean, pets like my my guys like to like my little guy likes to go in the corner. So I mean, but that's not nothing to do with me. That's just his preference. Um, I don't know if I would call them snuggly pets. Some of them are very very cuddly. Um, it, it's a, it's entirely dependent on their personality. Um, my guy likes chin scratches and likes close contact and all that, but he's not one for being like held. Um, but some of them are. So it, it's a, it's entirely dependent on their personality. Okay, so Brian Griffin asks, would you consider getting a rabbit? I consider getting a rabbit all the time. Um, the reality is, though, for me, I consider rabbits on like akin to dogs. Um, I would have a house rabbit, and I'm not in the situation where that's possible right now. And um, by a, I mean I'd have two, um, because I would like to adopt like giant bunnies because in my area, big big ones get abandoned all the time. And I would definitely want them to just be free range. Um, but the reality is, is I have a chinchilla and rabbits carry something, some ra like rabbits can carry something that is actually very, very dangerous for chins. So they're not to be kept in the same rooms together and that wouldn't be possible. So I have to, th when it comes to, when it's, when, it, when, when I consider getting more pets, my first consideration is always, will it adversely affect the pets I have? 
and in this case it would. So I have to think of Merlin first before my selfish want for cute cuddly rabbits. Um, Lucy's pet care. I'm so glad you asked a question, Lucy. I love hearing from you. Um, my questions are all about Merlin except the last one. Fair enough. How old is he? Um, Merlin is going to be five next month. Um, his favorite toy. Oh, his favorite toy depends on how, what his mood is. Um, but generally I would say the toys from Trees Oranges are his favorite. Do you think it might, you might get another chin for him to, um, to be a friend? No. Um, Merlin, Merlin came from a cage. He was kept in one of those typical guinea pig uh, starter cages that's like one and a half feet by two feet um, with six other chins. So they didn't hardly have room to move. Um, it's just not something that I'm want. Mo a lot of chinchilla injuries actually come from other chinchillas and that's not something that I'm willing to... Uh, with him, he's like, I mean, I know he's only going to be five, but he's very set in his ways. He's not the, a social chin. Um, he's very territorial. So I'm going to say no. Um, whose cage do you like the best out of all your pets? Um, <laughs> that's tricky. Um, I would say probably my favorite cage right now is the girls because I built it from scratch. So I'm very proud of it. Um, the boys cage is awesome. However, there are some things that need to be fixed still like the front. I have to figure out better situation for, um, so there's still some things I like to, I want to tweak with the boys cage, although their cage is the biggest. Um, Merlin technically has the most space per one animal, but he he's so destructive that it's hard to deck it out the way I would really like it like to without him ruining it. So I'm gonna go ahead and say the girls for now. Um, Diana Banana asks, I'm looking into adopting guinea pigs and I found a pair of young boys that are a definite option for me. Um, do male pairs usually work out? I've heard that if they are different ages, that's like less likely they will fight for dominance. But the boys I'd be getting are brothers, about two months old. And there are several replies to this. Um, boy, it's, there's not an exact science for boys, um, Diana. There's, there are boys that get along for like four years and then all of a sudden have a random falling out. Then there are boy, like boars that never have a fight in their life. And then there are boars that go fight through puberty. There's not a science to do it. Um, generally what they say is the younger that you can introduce them, the better. Um, but beyond that, there's, I can't give you an exact science. You can, you just have to adopt boys with the understanding that you may have to divide their cage one day. Uh, as demonstrated right there. I could not have timed that. Uh, John's Hamsters asked, what, What's your favorite veggie to feed your pets? Um, well, the only pets of mine that really get veggies are the pigs. Um, I'm really careful with feeding fresh fruits um, to my hamster. She only gets them like once a month just because um, dietary issues kind of freak me out with hams. Um, she gets dried stuff more than anything because I don't want her to get like liquidy uh, bowel movements and stuff. So the only veggies, the only pigs or pets that get, get veggies are my pigs. My favorite vegetable to give them is green pepper because it has the best, um, basically nutrition count for what you, like you can give it to them every day and it's amazing for them. It's low in calcium, which is in, which is so important for the pigs. And that's pretty much, that's, that would be my favorite. Daisy May asks, what is your top three favorite Disney movies? Should be a hard one. I love your channel, by the way. Thank you very much, Daisy. Um, my top, oh geez. Um, in case you hadn't noticed by the names of all my pets, Disney is a very big thing in my life. Um, oh geez. Well, one of my favorites of all times is Lilo and Stitch. Um, uh, another favorite would be Robin Hood. Shocking. And I'm going to go with Peter Pan for my third. Although you can't really beat Cinderella. Lion King is a f flawless and Mary Poppins is the best. 
So I mean, I could go, I would need a separate video for my favorite Disney movies, basically. Uh, the Four Little Piggies asks, how old were you when you got your first pet? I kind of answered that already. Uh, what is your favorite wild animal? Already answered that. Uh, if you could own any kind of animal, what would it be? Um, right now, I would say that I would love to have a robo hamster or a Newfoundland dog. Um, those are right now what I'm kind of hoping for. I'm not a big fan of wishing for like exotic pets, because, like pets that shouldn't be pets. So basically wild caught, because frankly, I think they belong in the wild for a reason. Um, we domesticated things like guinea pigs, chinchillas, and hamsters for scientific purposes. And so they came, kind of came to us out of not good scenarios, but they were domesticated with a purpose, not for our pleasure, if that makes any sense. So I, I'm not a big fan. I'm not a fan of taking other animals that are otherwise completely wild and putting them into our homes. Um, favorite YouTube channel. Favorite YouTube channels. I don't have just one. Um, Carrie's channel, Jessica's channel, Maddie's channel, Heather's channel, Animal Mad Kate, Skinny Pigs One, and Budget Bunny are all my favorite channels. Um, what was your? Oh, what got you interested in YouTube? I already said that. And what got you interested in small pets? Um, small pets, I was, I've always liked. I, th I found them fascinating. I've had, I had guinea pigs growing up. Um, animal husbandry is something that's always been a very big interest to me. Um, so is animal rescue. So when I figured out that small pets were kind of like an untapped area of small pet of the world that needed care because they got abandoned too, I kind of jumped right on that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much what got me interested was animal rescue. Uh, the Piggy Shed asks, what was your first pet? How many pets have you had? Would you ever like to come to the UK? What is your favorite animal? And what is your favorite pet brand? Okay, I answered the first one. How many pets have I had? So I've got seven right now. And then um, before them, I had Sheldon, Hiccup, Toothless, Ashling, Boo, Winnie, and Mowgli. So I've had a total of 14 of my own pets as an adult. And then I have my family dog, Matt, who's amazing and epic. Of Would I ever like to come to the UK? Absolutely. Um, I've actually got a bunch of friends teaching there right now, so I might find an excuse to go visit them. If you have a Canadian teacher, uh, give them a thumbs up because they work their tails off to get there, and you, have no, you could not wish for a better teacher. Um, my favorite pet brand. Um... I don't really think I have one. I would say probably right now Rose would be would be my favorite brand. Um, although I'm gonna go ahead and say Piggy Pop Shop and like Pee Wee's Piggy Palaces are their own brands, and those are probably those are other those are favorites of mine as well. Um, Alan Jader Lewis, I apologize if I said that wrong. I'm looking into owning a chinchilla in the future, and I was wondering how much monthly or yearly do they normally run? Uh, that's without doctor's visits. Uh, start up, like your first year, you're going to spend a lot. Um, if you start, do everything right, your startup fee is going to be probably about $1,500 without vets. And then yearly, I spend about $600 on Merlin. Probably a little more. The Binky Bun Bun asks, what is your dream pet? I have them. Um, my dream pet for a really long time was uh, a Texel guinea pig, and I'm very, very fortunate to have one in my life. Not to say that they're any better than, you know, Abby's or American Shorthair. They're, they're not. But that was just something that I've always wanted. Um, and when she kind of, when she fell into my lap, it was an amazing day. Um, best or worst bought products? Best products would be stuff from Rosewood, so from um, Bobby's Bunny Boutique. Um, stuff from Piggy Pop Shop, stuff from other fleece makers like the Porter Piggies, um, Pee Wee's Piggy Palace. Those, for me, are my favorites. Worst bought products would be like some of the plastic houses you can get, like PetSmart and stuff like that. It just wasn't worth it for me. Some people really like them, but I didn't like them at all. Um, I can't really think of anything else. Oh, bad water bottles. 
that for me is probably the worst pop, pop the product I've wasted the most money on is bad water bottles. Okay. Rainbow Hamster 39 asks, would you rather have a ma have male or female piggies? Um, I've got both and I love them both for their own little quirks. I think they're both amazing pets to have. They're both very different though. Um, do you love food? <laughs> I love food. Food makes me very happy. What is your fave YouTubers have answered that? Um, do you ever plan on having a personal channel? No. Um, I will give you the reason for that. I am a Ontario um, teacher, thus making my private life something I have to keep private for the sake of my career and for the betterment of my students. Uh, the Pet Wizard asks, would you ever get mice? Probably not, just because they're not something that I don't know, if I was going to get another small, small pet, I'd probably just get dwarf hamsters. Um, favorite brand of guinea pig hay? Oxbow Orchard Grass. Uh, if you could have any pet, what would it be? Answered that. Favorite pet name? Oh, I love my pet names, so I can't pick one. Where did you get all your pet's names from? Every single one of my pet's names is inspired by either, is inspired by some form of Disney show or movie. Um... How old were you when you got your first pet? Answered that. Alex Grant asked, question, are you planning to make more videos on Merlin? Always. Merlin's a very picky boy and only likes to be filmed when he wants to, so I have to work on his schedules, whereas the pigs are easier because they like to be, um, they don't really care. But thank you for the question. Um, how did, the Porter Piggies asked, how did you think of all your pets' names? So like I said, um, they're all from, they're all Disney inspired. So of course we got Robin Hood, Little John uh, from Robin Hood. Um, Merlin is kind of joint named from The Sword in the Stone, but also because one of my, my favorite TV show of all time is uh, Merlin. So he's the only one that's kind of the oddball. That's why he has Gwen, uh, Guinevere. And then Lilo is Lilo and Stitch. Gus is Gus Gus from Cinderella. And uh, Evangeline is fr inspired by the Princess and the Frog. Um, she's the North Star in the show, or in the movie. Maddie and Mara asks, what are some interesting facts about chinchillas? Oh, they have just, they have very individual and unique personalities like people do, um, more so than any pet I've ever come across. Um, he ha makes about 30 or 40 different sounds and over the last almost four years, I figured out most of them. There are still some that he makes that I don't quite know, but that's kind of, he's got his own way of communicating with me, which I really find quite cool. And is there a difference between male and female guinea pigs? Um, since I'm new to female guinea pigs, I'm obviously not an expert, but things I've noticed from just observation, yeah, there is a, there's a big, big difference. Their biggest difference that I have noticed that's completely void of personality, because I know guinea pigs are like people, right? They're, it's not just about being a girl or a boy, it's about your personality, but they're poop. <laughs> um, if you prefer cleaner looking cages, get girls. Um, my boys really aren't that messy, but next to my girls, they look like slobs. That's about all I can say about that. <laughs> um, but I mean, yeah, there are lots of other differences, um, but I, I don't know how much of that is just about their personality rather than their gender. Mega Horse Girl 2000. My favorite candy bar is Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Yep. No, no compromise there. What's your, on your wish list for the pets? Big and small things. Um, I would love to order something from Squeak Dreams. Um, more stuff from Pee Wee's Piggy Palace. Um, more stuff from Petco. Like their little stackable toys are like my favorite things in the world. Um, Bun space treats. I always need those. And that's pretty much it. But like basically cozies, hay bags, and cool stuff from Petco. What's one place you would love to travel? I want to go to Hawaii very, very badly. Um, however, I also want to go to California to visit a certain Californian guinea pig fan who uh, is very near and dear to me. 
um, and Disney World. That's my favorite place in the world. I've been there five times. I plan to be there all the time. Basically, it's my favorite place in the world. My biggest pet peeves. Um, a lack of being genuine for me is probably my biggest pet peeve. Um, I don't like people that don't keep their word. Um, things happen in life and, you know, stuff happens. And if you're upfront and honest about it, it's cool. But if you just, you know, consistently don't say anything or hide from your problems, that's, that bothers me. That's a pet peeve. Um, another pet peeve right now is not having a teaching job, but that's because, you know, that's life and I picked the career, so I have to deal with it. Um, and I think this is it. Ending with Carrie, so ending on a high note. If you could be any small animal for a day, who would you be or what would you be and why? Good question. I'd probably be a chin. He has pretty good, a pretty good life. Um, he can literally sleep and order me around and I do whatever he wants. Um, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Oh, you answered another question. You should have, you, a couple of them were asked. <laughs> uh, okay. If you could have dinner with any three people, past or present, real or fictional, who would it be and why? Um... It's a good question. I would definitely have dinner with Walt Disney. I would want to... I would like to have a chat probably with um, William Lyon Mackenzie King, who was Prime Minister of Canada. I would want to ask him a couple questions. I've got a, some beef with him. Um, and I'm going to say I'd have dinner with you, madam. Yes, I would. If you could have any one superpower, what would it be? I would like to replace my pancreas. I don't even know if that's qualified as a superpower, but I would like to do that because this diabetes thing is a pain in the rear end. Um, wow, that was a long video. Um, I apologize if some of these... Oh, I missed one. Sorry. Mr. KV Madness asks, which of your pets is the easiest to take care of? Hamsters. No question. Uh, how much do you spend on average on all your pig, uh, guinea pig goodies? Oh, several hundred dollars. Um, which of your pets do you find is the most fun? Uh, they're all really fun in their own way. Although every day kind of fun, I would probably say the pigs. Just because they're always down. Like, they, they love coming out of their cage all the time. Merlin, Gus... And Evie, I have to kind of gauge their moods, but the pigs are pretty much always good with it. So that has been my q and A. I I apologize if it was super long. I tried to answer. I think I answered everybody's questions. Um, don't ever let this type of video that's not up uh, stop you from answering questions or asking questions. I love getting questions all the time. So just always leave them in videos in the future. But this was super fun. I'm glad you guys, you know, took the time to ask some questions. And that's, that's amazing. You guys are awesome, and as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch our videos. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to go uh, check out the collab channel that I'm in. It's called The Furry Frenzy, with some of the most epic people in the world that you will ever hope to meet. Um, we are holding auditions for our Tuesday member, so go check that out. And I will see you all real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.